are starting this video off with um, meals for this week. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the meals that I'm eating, but I'm gonna to try to keep it really short. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a high and low for the week and kind of just my hopefully quick overall thoughts. So today it is, it is almost one o'clock and I am finishing an 18 hour fast. Um, I have decided to go ahead, or last week I decided to go ahead and really give intermittent fasting a good try. And I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the results so far. So this is going to be my first meal of the day. The only thing I've had today was um, this morning on my way to the gym, I had a zip fizz, which did not affect my ketones or my blood sugar in any way. Like I tested those, I'll show you the pictures um, of my current ketones, which I'm really happy with. And then I had, when I came home, I had a little shot of espresso. So that's all I've had. Neither of those will break a fast. And so now I'm about to break my fast at one o'clock, which is in two and a half minutes and I'm looking forward to eating. So what I'm having today is a salad. I've got some butter lettuce down there, um, some chicken that I cooked in the air fryer, ranch dressing. I've got some cucumbers that I don't know if you can see or not, but there's some little cucumbers in there. Avocado, as you can see. And then I don't think I said cheddar cheese cheddar cheese, but I do have some cheddar cheese in here. And um, this is a pretty good little salad. The total calories on it is less than 500. Total grams of net carbs for this is four. I get 17 for the day. And so I am sitting perfect exactly where I wanna be. I will only eat two meals today. And so this will be the first one and then I will eat dinner. I'll show you guys that when that comes time. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and eat this salad, drink some more water and then carry on with my day. Y'all, what is going on with this heat right now? It is like 102 degrees outside. Ugh, no thank you, Texas. I am over it. I am so ready for fall. It is unbelievable. So it is 323 and I am on my way to go get the kids from school. Normally I leave to go get them a little bit earlier, but with the first week of school, y'all let me know. I mean, I'm sure it's the same everywhere. It is insane trying to go through those pickup and drop off lines. We actually dropped the kids off. We walked them in this morning, but in the afternoon, we just pick them up through the car, like the car pickup line or whatever. So that's what I'm doing. And because it's so dadgum hot and I just kind of wanted a little bit of a pick me up, I am having a bang. I did not have one before I went to the gym this morning. I haven't. So for the past, I think three days that I've, or three times that I've gone to the gym, I've just had a zip fizz before I go to the gym. But that's primarily because I am going to the gym while I'm still fasting. And bang, because it has amino acids in it, that will break your fast. And so that's why I haven't been having a bang before I go to the gym, but I wanted to hop on really quickly and show this one to you guys because this is the newest one that I am aware of that they've come out with. It's the birthday, what's this thing called? Birthday cake bash. Like, I don't even know. Can you guys see that? Birthday cake bash. So I actually said in a previous video that I was not going to try this one because I don't tend to care for the ones that are really super sweet, but I'm also kind of a sucker for new things. And so I'm gonna try it. I've never tried it. I just, you guys heard me open it. I'm gonna try it on camera and let you guys know what I think. Okay. All right, so thoughts. It's not as sweet as I expected it to be. It tastes like vanilla cake, y'all. Holy cow, this tastes like vanilla cake. Like even the aftertaste is vanilla cake. How did they do that? How did they make an energy drink taste like vanilla cake? Okay. I'm actually really glad I bought this because can I be honest with you? That is good. That is really good. I think that just shot up to one of my top five, maybe top three. Okay. I'm sure that there will be people that will try this one and they will hate it. I'm sure that there are going to be people who try it and say it's too sweet or it's too much vanilla or whatever, but that straight up tastes like vanilla birthday cake. I am impressed. That's really good. 
All right, well, that is the reason that I wanted to hop on really quickly was to just share my thoughts on this, uh, on this with you guys. I think it's great. You guys, when you try it, let me know what you think. Okay, so it is time for dinner. And tonight, like I said, we are having this smoked pulled pork that I picked up from Costco. I'm having mine on one serving of the rice cauliflower. I also have some cheese on here and some of the Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. I wanted jalapenos, but I don't have any. I think that really would have just made this perfect, but I'm expecting it's gonna be delicious. And I'm cutting it really close. I'm trying to finish eating by six o'clock. So I need to get busy eating this so that I can start my next fast. So this is dinner for tonight and it'll be the last thing that I eat, guys. It is 12 o'clock on Tuesday and I'm officially breaking my fast for the day. Um, I finished an 18 hour fast. This is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm just having another salad. I've got some butter lettuce down in there, some cheese, bacon, cucumbers, pickles on top, a little bit of avocado and ranch. And then over in this container, I have some buffalo chicken dip, I guess. I mean, it's technically a dip, but we just eat it kind of as is. So that is what I'm having for lunch today. And um, here in a little bit, I will share with you guys my dinner. Guys, so it is Tuesday evening and it is almost six o'clock. I'm cutting it really close. I'm trying to, sweetie, please don't spin the cat in circles. I'm trying to finish eating by six o'clock, but I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight because I've been, doing fasting and I've been doing an 18 hour fast and then a six hour window of eating, but I think, um, I don't think I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm having for dinner, but I am sitting in my bed. I need to keep myself off my feet today because I went outside for a run this afternoon. I'm sorry, this morning, um, because I wasn't gonna go to the gym. I still wanted to stay active. So I went outside and I live on a road that's not paved, it's a gravel road. And I lost my footing and I rolled my ankle pretty badly. So I need to stay off my feet as much as I can today, keep it iced. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna eat my dinner. Let me go ahead and flip this camera around really quickly and show you what I'm gonna have for dinner. Um, and also what, if I have room in my belly after I finish this, what I'm gonna have for dessert. Sorry, I'm trying to reach. Um, but what I'm about to show you will be the last things that I have today. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I'm having for dinner. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm just having some more of the smoked pulled pork that I purchased from Costco and made in the slow cooker yesterday with a little bit of Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce on top. I'm having some riced, I'm sorry, not riced, mashed cauliflower with a little bit of Kerrygold butter that is like melting all over the place and some Parmesan cheese. And then I'm also, if I have room, going to have this afterward just because it sounded really good, a nice cold treat. Um, but I'm not 100% sure about this because I have a feeling I'm gonna be really full after I eat this, but we'll see. I might have a Jello, I might not. So this is sugar-free. Um, it is sweetened, I believe, with sucralose, which is not the best, but I have one of these about every three weeks, and so I'm not too worried about it. So this is my dinner for tonight. I'm going to have this and drink some water, and if I have any dessert it will be this and that will be everything that I'm eating today all right y'all happy Wednesday it is 12 50 and I actually broke my fast right around 12 o'clock with a cup of coffee that I actually I haven't finished yet but I will I was really craving some coffee and I woke up kind of hungry today so I'm actually surprised that I was able to last on my fast as long as I did but now I'm gonna have some lunch this is a pretty big lunch um, it's pretty calorie dense very fat you know dense which I'm okay with because I'm not 100% sure what dinner's gonna look like tonight for me, so I wanted to get the majority of my calories or a large chunk of my calories in my lunch today. So in this little bowl, I have some buffalo chicken dip. I have some of the mini cucumbers over here that I can dip in that. I also have some of the dry salami, the spicy dry salami that I get at Aldi, and four pieces of this cheese, and then I have some walnut halves over here as well. That is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna sit here and try to work on editing some videos for you guys, and then here in a little bit, I will share with you what I'm gonna have for dinner. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I don't think it's gonna be a huge dinner. So we are finally back home, and it is 7.24, about an hour and a half later than I normally eat dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I have some mashed cauliflower, some cheddar cheese, some of the smoked pulled pork, tonight was left overnight, and then some of the Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. And I might have dessert here in a little bit, but I'm gonna work on this first. I actually feel pretty hungry. So I'm gonna eat this, and if I have anything else, I will share that. All right, y'all, so it is lunchtime on Thursday, and I still have some leftover pizza from when 
uh, we had dinner last Friday night. I forgot that this was in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna go ahead and have two pieces of this pizza. This is the fathead crust, and this turned out really good. I'm really glad that I finally figured this recipe out. And probably about 11 o'clock or so, maybe 10.30, I went ahead and had a cup of coffee, and this is, it looks kind of funky down in there, but that's because I put collagen in it. So I'm just about finished with that. I'll probably finish that here in just a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and have my lunch, and then we are going out to eat for dinner tonight for my husband's birthday. So I will show you what we end up having then. guys so it is friday night and for dinner tonight we are having slow cooked ribs um everyone else <laughs> is having pasta salad i am not having pasta salad because you guys know i don't eat pasta so i'm having some cauliflower rice some loaded cauliflower rice cheese bacon i have some jalapenos over here and some alterna sweets barbecue sauce and we are having this meal in honor of this guy's birthday happy birthday husby thank you all right Thanks we Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks for I won't I won't mention your age. So we are going to eat some dinner and watch a movie and then probably turn in early Mama, tonight because we are all exhausted. Guys, it is Monday morning, August twenty sixth, and I am about to have some breakfast. It is what time? Ten thirty three in the morning. I did go to the gym this morning and I've got to get busy because my semester starts today. So I'm having a blueberry muffin. This is the um, Keto Connect recipe, if I remember correctly. One boiled egg and then two pieces of turkey bacon and I'm going to also have a cup of coffee I haven't had any coffee yet today so this is gonna be my breakfast and then um, I am coming off of a 16 hour fast which is not a super long fast for me but I wanted to kind of be a little more relaxed over the weekend so this will end my 16 hour fast and um, yeah that's gonna be breakfast for this morning good morning you guys happy Tuesday today is August 27th I believe and I am actually at home today. It is only nine o'clock in the morning. Normally, um, I go to the gym and I'm at the gym around this time, but on Tuesday, I'm at home and I'm so grateful to be here today. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has been raining outside, like actually storming and oh, it's just such a blessing. So um, I'm gonna sit here and have my breakfast because I'm starving, <laughs> which is again, pretty typical um, the day after I have a really good workout and yesterday I had a very very busy day so I'm really hungry you're gonna see I have a really big breakfast or at least for me what's a big breakfast but this morning I am having this is only one scrambled egg but it's a double yolk scrambled egg that we got from some friends I have half of an avocado and obviously I have some of the um, everything but the bagel seasoning on them. I have two pieces of turkey bacon. I'm gonna eat all of that. If I'm still hungry after that, I'm gonna have this blueberry muffin. And then I have a cup of coffee here. And this just has, um, has my coffee, my uh, stevia sweetener in it, and some collagen, some chocolate collagen. That's all that's in there. So I've gotta get busy. Um, reading some microbiology so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast enjoy the weather for today this one down here is like climbing my bed yes you what are you doing crazy what are you doing over there crazy so I'm gonna sit here and do some school and eat my breakfast and just enjoy this day that I get to be at home Good morning you guys it is Wednesday morning August 28th if I'm remembering correctly and I'm sitting down to have breakfast I went to the gym this morning and did my uh, back and biceps workout and it is now 10 20 and I'm going to sit down and have some breakfast so I'm having half of an avocado one scrambled egg again it was it's one of those that has the double yolk um, so it's a little higher in fat. I wanted some hot sauce on it this morning, so I have hot sauce, of course, salt and pepper, two slices of turkey bacon, and then my blueberry muffin. And then this is my first cup of coffee for the day. Um, this is just uh, 
breakfast blend coffee and then I have some of the Jordan skinny syrup in here I think I have the pumpkin cinnamon roll or something of that nature and then some cinnamon on top cinnamon on top I also have this one thinks that she's gonna come and eat my breakfast I also have some uh, one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and one tablespoon of MCT oil in here because I don't have any collagen and so I decided to go ahead and make this sort of a bulletproof coffee I don't actually prefer butter in my coffee all that often every now and then I get in the mood for it but that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast I'm gonna sit here I've got to get my computer open and get started on all of the things that I have to do today so I will check back with you guys here in a little good morning you guys happy Thursday yeah that's the right thing thank you um, hello it is 10 o'clock in the morning and I am just got out of the shower went to the gym this morning I got dressed made my bed buddy say hi buddy and now I'm sitting down to kind of start my school day um, I am having some coffee this morning I don't really I'm just not really in the mood to eat food this morning so I went ahead and made myself a bulletproof coffee you can see it's just coffee there's cinnamon on the top of it but I made it with a lot more fat today than usual because I just told you guys I think it was yesterday that I don't prefer butter in my coffee but I can do it sometimes so I have a tablespoon of um, Kerrygold butter or the Aldi version of Kerrygold butter I have a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and then a tablespoon of MCT oil and coffee Jordan skinny syrup cinnamon on top that's pretty much it that's what I'm gonna have it's 10 now I'll drink this and it will tide me over until lunch and then I need to get back into fasting again so I'm gonna work on kind of setting myself up for that until you're really used to it fasting actually takes planning and so I need to figure out exactly when I'm gonna do that um, get back into it so I'm gonna go ahead and sit here have my coffee and start on my day. Okay, so it is lunchtime today for lunch. I'm just having a salad. This is the butter lettuce and I have some tuna salad in there. It's kind of hard to tell, but some uh, just basically what you would normally eat on a sandwich. I have that, I have some cheese, mini cucumbers. I have some bacon crumbles and then I have some buffalo sauce drizzled on top instead of dressing and this is what i'm having for lunch today y'all so it is 2 45 in the afternoon and i'm gonna go ahead and have a snack i'm not necessarily starving but i'm a little bit hungry and i just want to go ahead and have something um, to tide me over until we have dinner so there's one smart cake in here i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna have one more cup of coffee for today this cup is just it has coffee Jordan skinny syrup and um, almond milk. That's all that's in here. I just used my frother to make it all frothy, but that's all that's in here. So this is really not um, a good fat source. So this is gonna be my snack this afternoon and here in about um, 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna leave to go pick up the kids from school. Friends, so it is time for a bathing suit update. And I have been doing keto now for eight weeks, right at a little over eight weeks. And the last time I showed you a bathing suit update, it was quite a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. To be honest, this is probably the last time I'll put this swimsuit on this summer, but I wanted to go ahead and um, get this done today so that I can add it to my video. So here is my swimsuit. This is the exact same swimsuit that I was in last time. Um, to be honest with you, it it's gonna be a little bit hard to explain, but it is significantly less tight than it was last time. Um, if I turn to the side, I don't know if you can really see, it's got a lot of ruching, so let me pull that up. I'm trying to still be appropriate here for you guys, but you can see that, that my bathing suit doesn't want to stay up. Um, you can see that I have, in my mind, I've gone down in the stomach area quite a bit. I don't know how well you guys can tell that or not. Um, I believe that my legs have also shrunk, but I don't know, who's to say? This maybe was not the best swimsuit for me to um, do my pictures in because it's a little bit hard to tell. To be honest, I've been also taking pictures in a two-piece uh, bikini swimsuit that I only wear when I'm here at home in our pool. Um, and I took some progress photos this morning and I was blown away. I'm not 100% sure if I wanna share those with you guys because it, that swimsuit is a bit more revealing, but I will consider doing a side-by-side -side so that you can see the difference. But I don't know how well you're really gonna be able to tell. Um, you know, guys, it's still a swimsuit. So 
Let me see. I remember this part being really awkward for me last time. Let me turn around here. Again, I don't know how well you guys can see. Um, I still have, I'm not where I need to be, but you know what? That's okay. This is a journey for me. I'm not really stressed about it. I'm happy with the way that my body looks now. And I know that I am considerably stronger than I was, um, even eight weeks ago. I'm finally starting to see some muscle definition after working out in the gym. So that makes me really, really happy. So here is, um, again, swimsuit to this side. I don't know. I always feel like the camera adds 10 pounds. Like I look, I feel like I look so much heavier on the camera than I do when I'm just looking at myself. So I guess that's a good thing. I will say that as I was looking at the pictures this morning and I called my husband in to see them, I actually said the words to him, is that really what I look like? Because I think we tend to see ourselves as so much heavier than the rest of the world sees us. So, you know, I see myself as being, as still, I see the areas where I still want to lose. Um, and then I saw a picture of myself this morning and I was like, I'm so much smaller than I used to be and I'm very proud of that progress. So here is one more time just to look. Um, to be honest, I work out really hard, but I don't know if I will ever really get rid of what's here um, short of having liposuction surgery, um, which by the way, I'm not 100% against, but we'll see. I'm definitely going to do the work to um, lose what I can on my own before I would ever consider that, that type, that drastic of a surgery. So here I am. This is me. We are about to head to a birthday party for my niece and nephew. So hope you guys enjoyed this little update and I'll talk to you soon. All right, friends. So I have been sitting here editing this video for you guys, and I am admittedly a couple of weeks behind on editing much of anything. I've been filming for you guys a lot more frequently lately. I just haven't had a whole lot of time to edit. Um, so I've put some things into place that will hopefully help me with that. But I wanted to go ahead and close out this particular video by sharing with you my high and my low for pretty much both of these weeks. So. The second week that you saw, I didn't have anything that was just this really significant high um, or low. It was just kind of an average week. Um, we were extremely busy that week, and so you only saw certain clips of my meals, and I do apologize um, about that. I'm going to kind of go over that here in just a second. But the first week that you saw, which would have been week eight on my keto journey, my high for the week was that I was able to finally start to see the scale move again. And you guys, I'm not super like worried about the scale, but when you work really hard and you work out really hard and you're really, you know, sticking to um, what you know you should be eating, it helps to know, to see that, that number falling again. And for a while it did, and then it completely stalled and I was getting a little bit frustrated, so I decided to go ahead and jump into intermittent fasting, which is um, something that I did not think I was really going to be able to do at the beginning of my journey. And I'm glad that I waited because it's not something that's really easy to do right out of the gate. So I'm glad that I was able to give my body a chance to fully adapt to a ketogenic diet and become fully fat adapted before I started that. So. Through inter intermittent fasting, I was able to finally start seeing the scale move again. And so at this point, I am within seven or eight pounds of my goal weight. Um, not only that, but I was actually able to complete a 20 hour fast, which that's a really long time. I never would have been able to do that prior to keto. And on top of that, because of fasting, I was able to get my ketones the highest that they've ever been. I actually was able to get um, a reading of 2.5 one time, and then the rest of the times they kind of hovered around uh, 1.7 to 2.2. But the day I saw that 2.5 on my keto um, meter, oh my gosh, I was just like ecstatic. It made me so happy. Um, so I did intermittent fasting for a couple of weeks and then I've taken a week off from it. And so this coming week I will be doing IF again. Um, simply because I don't want it to be something that I do every single day, every single week. I want to 
um, use it to kind of keep my body guessing and to, I don't know, just keep, I don't necessarily think that it would be the best thing for me all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and start, um, do another week, at least week of, of intermittent fasting this week because I loved it. I felt great. It's the best that I felt since I started keto. Um, my low for that week, as you guys may have already guessed, is that I injured myself whenever I was running. Um, I rolled my ankle and it was the most significant injury that I have ever um, had to deal with whenever I've been working out. I actually thought I broke my ankle when I fell down. It was one of those, I was outside in my own neighborhood and I fell and I thought I broke it. I mean, I, I heard, I heard noises and it, it started throbbing immediately. It was one of those pains that you kind of think that you're going to vomit <laughs> immediately afterward. It was pretty intense. Um, and I spent the rest of the day off of my feet. So I was really discouraged by that. Um, I continued with my workouts for the rest of the week. I just hobbled around everywhere. I still went to the gym, much to the frustration of my chiropractor. But um, I was able to still go to the gym and just not do any cardio. So I have not been doing any more running. I haven't even been on the treadmill since then because to be honest, I'm still recovering from that. And it was like three or four weeks ago at this point. Um, so that was a really low point for me. I feel like I was finally getting to a point in my journey that I enjoyed running and now I'm completely not able to run at all. And I don't know for sure when I'll be able to again. But I do know that um, I have still continued my training. I have never stopped training. Even with that, I just, I wrap it up. I wear uh, a brace when I go to the gym. And I make sure that anytime I'm doing a movement, I'm really like steady on my feet. So that was my low for the week. My high for the week was definitely the really high numbers that I was seeing. And... The last thing that I wanted to chat with you guys about, and I'm going to try to keep it brief because I know this is already a really long video, is that um, after weeks eight and nine, I stopped filming my meals every day. And even throughout week eight and especially nine, there were days that I, or there were meals that I did not pick up my camera and share with you guys. Um, I have really just been in a season of trying to figure out what I want to share here on YouTube and what I want that to look like. And I don't want it to look like everybody else's videos. You know, I want my videos to be me. I want them to be um, specific to me and I, I don't want them to just look like everybody else's. And so moving forward, I will not be sharing like every meal, every day, every week, um, because this keto journey for me, it's not, um, it's not a diet. It's not something that I'm, oh, I'm going to do this for six months or I'm going to do this for a year. No, this is the way that I plan on eating for the rest of my life. And I can't really imagine me sharing with you guys, you know, my, my meals for the rest of my life. So, um, I will have days when I share a, what I eat, you know, like what I eat in a day. Um, I may come back and do what I ate this week type of video. I'm not sure. I just know that um, after this particular video, there won't be weekly keto vlogs, um, that are occurring and showing up every, like for every single week. So I don't know what it's going to look like moving forward. I will still share, you know, this, this journey with you guys, but my channel is not meant to be a keto channel. Like that's, it's not, it's supposed to be a, a lifestyle channel and it's about supposed to be about my life and me as a person and keto is only a small portion of who I am as a person um, and it's it's a very I mean while it is important to me it's not the most important thing to me so um, I do want to get back to sharing my family and sharing more homeschool material with you guys and sharing our hauls I just want to share different things. So um, moving forward, you won't see a dedicated weekly keto vlog. However, I am going to be sharing more day in the lifestyle vlogs with you guys. So um, I've already actually filmed two of them. 
this past week that you will see go live on my channel um, within the next two weeks. So um, probably the end of this week, If um, I'm going to try to get this video up on Monday. It takes a really long time to upload, so I'm going to try. Um, and then I will have a haul video for you guys on Wednesday and then hopefully a day in the life on Friday. That is my plan if I can get everything uploaded on time. I've already edited the videos. I just have to get them uploaded. So that is going to be it, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed taking a look at the meals that I ate during weeks eight and nine of my keto journey. If you have specific questions about food or you know, how I'm working out or just anything, please feel free to ask. I am an open book and I'm happy to share with you guys anything that you're interested in knowing. So until next time, I hope that you guys take care. I hope that you are having a very blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.